What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I am out in the blistering Texas summer heat to do another review of a lithium charge controller. This one in particular that I have before me is from a company called BioNO Power out of California. So once again, this is another US made company that you can trust. I've talked to the owner of the company. His name is Kevin, he's a good guy and he will talk your ear off about solar and about ham radio and a bunch of stuff that they love to get into. So this particular company actually sells batteries in addition to charge controllers. They also sell some small uh, solar panel type things. So I encourage you to check out their website. It's really cool. So today what we've got, I've got, if you watched my previous video, I did an MPPT controller and today we have a PWM or pulse width modulation controller. So what's the difference? If you don't know the difference, I'll put a link to a video that you can check out where I explain the differences. But basically, a MPPT controller is much more expensive and more efficient. A PWM controller is more uh, stable, older technology and uh, is much, much cheaper, therefore. So they also sent me, and I didn't even ask for this, but it's really nice of them to do it, but they sent me a battery as well. I was going to test it with the same lithium iron phosphate battery that we did the other video um, but we'll go ahead and use their battery since they were nice enough to send it and we'll review that at the same time this is a 9 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery it does have a battery management system with it so that will be a small difference in the two controllers if you're comparing and deciding what you want to buy uh, this particular uh, controller I'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging here in a sec but it is only $49 and the reason it's a little more expensive than other PWM uh, charge controllers is because this one specifically works with lithium iron phosphate out of the box. No configuration, no you know, custom settings, no use at your own risk. This thing is purpose built for that specific purpose. Okay, so here's what was in the box. This also came with a uh, battery charger um, that you can plug into the wall. If you wanted to charge it that way but we're not going to obviously do any of that we want to charge with solar that's our whole purpose here so um, this particular battery like i said is a 12 volt battery uh, 9 amp hours or 108 watt hours so the charge controller comes with all of these wires this one in particular is for a solar panel uh, it's a specific type of connection that i don't have so i'm going to be removing those those cables and inserting my own but um, if you bought a solar panel from them, it has these nice connectors that you can use to connect directly to their panel. Um, otherwise, you know, we use MC4 connectors is what, is what I always use. That's the solar standard um, for bigger solar panels, so that's what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these wires that go to the solar uh, panel and that they provided for their system, which we aren't going to need for this test. And I'm going to connect my MC4 connectors. Okay, now that we've got those connected, I'm going to connect the battery. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, get in close, close with this. It does have an LCD panel on the front, which is kind of nice. So that's a good feature you're not going to get in the $12 charge controllers, uh, usually anyway. It does indicate that it is receiving power from the solar panel and all of that good stuff. So as with other charge controllers, if you had, had a load that you wanted to run through this, uh, by the way, I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this earlier. This is a 20 amp charge controller, so it can provide 20 amps of charging current or 20 amps of load. Um, but there are some, some cool features. That's, that's not out of the ordinary. That's a normal size. Uh, obviously, that's where you connect the solar panels. That's where you connect the battery. This is where you connect a load if you wanted to run uh, up to 20 amps of load off of this. Now, the reason you might want to do that is because this has low voltage disconnect protection to protect your battery from discharging too far. Another cool thing that this has is it has a USB port on the top. All right, so the audio didn't turn out very well on this part, but there you can see the USB uh, port there at the top. It is a, char a power port, so it will give you up to one amp of USB power, which is five volts. And then um, you'll see on the bottom, you will also see the uh, part number, the model number of the uh, the BioNO power charge controller. Now keep in mind this is a constant current, constant voltage charger, so that's the charging profile it uses. So now that we have this connected, I'm just going to let this thing run. 
Okay, so you can see this is done now. The, uh, the battery icon is no longer scrolling and we're in open circuit voltage of 14 and change. Um, took a couple hours. You can see that the sun has moved significantly in the sky. It's about it's almost seven o'clock now. Anyway, so it took a couple hours for it to, to get ch fully charged. Um, and the, uh, the instructions actually recommend that you charge it for about five hours before using it the first time. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and uh, throw it on the, uh, the wall charger to get it topped off. But it worked great. Um, as you see, there's no, you know, there's no dip switches. There's no uh, interface. The USB is for power just provides five volt power. So, I mean, this was out of the box. I didn't touch anything. I didn't set anything. All I did was connect wires and a battery and a solar panel and it worked. So really cool stuff. This is, uh, like I said before, uh, when we started this little video series, this two part series, I wanted to finally show real true lithium charge controllers, not this garbage where yeah, it'll work with lithium if you know what you're doing and set your own parameters. No, we don't want that stuff. The American public doesn't like that kind of stuff. The average Joe doesn't do that. So we've got a lithium iron phosphate, very stable, very safe battery with a BMS and an awesome charge controller. What, can, what more can you ask for? Um, they also do sell solar panels, but I didn't get one of those to review. I've got tons of those, so I didn't feel like I needed to review something like that. Anyway, check out BioNO Power. They're big into ham radio stuff. They're at a lot of ham radio shows. Check them out there. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so you can see more great content in the future.